close your eyes and watch your breath. Know when the breath is coming in, know when it's going out. And stick with it when it comes in again and goes out again. Just stay right there with the in and out breath. You're building good qualities in the mind as you do this. You're building mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind, and alertness, the ability to know what you're doing and to watch the results of what you're doing. And then the quality of ardency. Ardency is when you see if something is unskillful, you quickly abandon it. If something is skillful but you're lacking it, you try to build it up as much as you can. This quality is what makes all the difference in our lives. Because sometimes we may know what's right and know what's wrong, but if we're not ardent about it, we could just let that knowledge go past, go past, go past, and it doesn't really have much impact on us. This is one of the reasons why we came up here for the first day of the new year. We realize that we want a happy new year, and if the year is going to be happy, it depends on our own actions. So you want to be ardent in noticing whenever anything unskillful is coming up in your thoughts, your words, your deeds, and learn how to abandon it right away. As for skillful qualities, you look at what you've been lacking over the past year. You've been lacking in virtue, lacking in concentration, lacking in discernment. You want to develop those qualities so that they're stronger. This way you guarantee that it's going to be a good year. Because as the Buddha said, an auspicious day is the day in which you practice the Dharma. You see clearly what's skillful and what's not, and you work, do your best to find true happiness based on what you know is skillful. Well, the same principle applies for a year. This is going to be a good year. It depends on your actions. It doesn't depend on the stars. It doesn't depend on the forecasts of anybody. Even if unfortunate events happen, if you train the mind, the mind doesn't have to suffer. And that's the most important skill you can develop. Because we live here in this human world, and we all have some good karma and bad karma. We're going to be meeting with good and bad things, but the mind doesn't have to get spoiled by the bad things. You use the strength that comes from your own inner goodness. So that whatever comes up, you know how to deal with it skillfully. And at the very least, you know how not to suffer from it. You know how to divide the mind out from the things that would ordinarily make it suffer. And you realize, that's not really me, that's not really mine. These things change. And the important thing is that you keep your mind on an even keel. This is the most important skill you can develop. So then you can decide, okay, what's the best thing to do right now? You don't let anger take over. You don't let greed take over. You don't t let your likes or dislikes take over. You don't let your fears take over. You try to keep your mind on course. And that requires that you have an even keel, just like a ship that stays on course because it has a gyroscope. So you want to have this inner gyroscope that keeps you stable on an even keel. So that whatever comes up, you're in a position where you can figure out what's the skillful thing to do right now. And that way you're creating the causes for happiness. And you have the discernment to realize that okay, happiness doesn't just come floating by, it comes from causes. And where do the causes come? They come from your own mind. So if you train your mind well, it's going to be a cause for happiness. If you train it really well, it's going to be a, a cause for real happiness. So realize that this is where you want to focus your efforts, this is where you want to focus your attention on keeping the mind well-trained. Because as I say, with a well-trained mind brings happiness. We want a happy new year. This is what we're going to have to do. We have to train the mind. And the way the happiness we want will be ours. And we'll be able to spread that happiness around to others, too, because when the mind is well-trained, it's not causing anybody any suffering. And it's actually developing more strength, so it has the strength to do good for other people, too. So the causes of happiness are generosity, virtue, and the meditation. You want to make sure that all of them are well developed all the way through the year. If you want a happy new year, make sure the causes are right. When the causes are right, there's no escaping it. The year will have to be happy. So always keep this principle in mind and stick with it. That way 2012 or 2555 is going to be a really good year.